Today I have what I hope will be a relatively straightforward repair video for you guys today. I have these two 6002A HP power supplies, 0 to 50 volt. Both were picked up on eBay as dead. This one is very much dead, has an issue with the control circuitry. And this one, the seller assures me the only thing wrong with it is that the fan makes terrible noises instead of working. So I guess the first thing to do would be to verify that the one that supposedly works actually works. So you can hear that terrible fan noise. And we adjust the voltage up. We actually do get some, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I decided to start with the dead one. The fan is hidden in the middle of the unit, and I'm not sure what will be the simplest way to get it out. If I break something while I'm fighting with it, I won't feel so bad. If it ends up being on this unit, I'll just try not to make the same mistake on the other one.
I did not like how big of a mess that was. I think this time I'm going to try a little bit lighter touch. You know, working on this type of chassis, I'm always a little bit worried that if I take out just one more screw, that's going to be it. This thing's never going to go back together right. It'll be just that one panel that's loose or squeaks or just kind of rocks on the desk instead of sitting nice and solid. If you've ever taken the uh, door panels out of an inside of a car and not used the proper tools or technique, you probably have some idea what I'm worried about. Now here's a problem, I'm not sure if it was me or not. That little transformer was pulled off the board and sitting loose in the case. It may have been the actual cause of the problem with this unit, instead of the fan like the seller had claimed. Or I might have just pulled it off being a little bit of a dummy. But either way, we're in here this far, we already got the other fan, might as well fix both at the same time. Anyway, let's get back to the fan, we'll deal with the transformer in a bit. Yeah, I don't know why, but the battery in my camera just decided to swell up and die on me. Thankfully it didn't go full pyrotechnic failure, and all you really missed was me putting the fan back in the same way it just came out. Now it's just a couple of quick solder joints, the transformer salvaged from the dead unit, and then hopefully we're done here.
get it all back together. Let's power it on and see if it's fixed. So far, so good. Sounds like a fan instead of death. Run the voltage up. And at 8 volts, we expect about 1 amp to flow. Sixteen should be roughly two. Twenty-four at about three. And now we're about running into the max we can output on here. 32 volts, about 4 amps, 